Strange Sequence Starting from Traditional Chinese Medicine and Growing Up Introduction Jiang Yu, a migrant worker, has increasingly severe tinnitus. The babbling in his ears grew louder and louder, and at the same time, the world underwent a strange change. After entering a mirror world shrouded in mist and full of mysteries, the sequence begins. A variety of strange sequences, supernatural powers, born out of nowhere. Low-level sequence. Exorcist mage, demon-slaying Taoist, qi practitioner, martial arts master, high-level sequence. In corpse dharma king, three burial adults, white bone bodhisattva, karmic fire vitra, myth illuminates the world. Chapter 1. Disappearance. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. In August Gingshan, the stars set slightly north. Enter the ghost, commit the accumulation of corpses. Jiangbei Province. Hanshui City. The south wind swept through the dark clouds, spreading northward like a tide. A sudden rain arrived as promised. At the bus stop at the entrance of the city hospital, Rainwater hits the umbrellas, creating a hazy blue mist. The waiting shed was crowded with people, a young man about 1.75 meters tall, with black circles under his eyes and a delicate appearance, standing in the crowd with a restless mind, still recalling the scene from earlier. Doctor, my tinnitus is getting worse and worse. I have checked my ears and there are no problems. How do you feel? I always hear a group of people whispering in my ear, but I can't hear what they're saying clearly. Hmm in your situation, should you go to the psychiatric department on the seventh floor to have a look? Jiang Yu is 25 years old. He works in an internet company. His tinnitus has appeared two years ago. At first, it was just a small sound. He didn't take it seriously. He thought he was angry. But in recent years, the tinnitus has become more and more loud. Recently, it has seriously affected his sleep. So he had to ask for leave from the company and come to the hospital for inspection. The diagnosis was that there was a mental problem. Jiang Yu smiled bitterly in his heart, how can he afford the high cost of treatment? That's it. Do. Do. The whistle of the bus interrupted Jiang Yu's thoughts, and the crowd surged towards the entrance. He struggled to grab a seat and sat down. The air in the carriage was murky, and Jiang Yu's chest felt stuffy. Opening the car window, the damp cold wind blew in from outside. Suddenly, he furrowed his brow and said, Grass. It's here again. Tinnitus attacks became increasingly frequent, and Jiang Yu could only hear a group of people whispering in his ears, their voices sometimes sharp and sometimes deep, like ants crawling up from inside his ears and all the way to his own brain. He put on his headphones, turned the music to its maximum pitch, and closed his eyes. Livin', easy, lovin', free, season ticket, on a one-way ride, I'm on the highway to hell. The raging rock music suppressed the whispers in his ear, making him feel a moment of relief. The bus was bumpy up and down, and Jiang Yu unconsciously fell asleep. Jiang Yu, who had not slept well for many days, slept soundly until a cold wind woke him up. He opened his eyes drowsily, tightened his tight-fitting clothes, opened his phone to check the time, and said, 19.30. Oh no, I missed the stop. He quickly pulled his earphones and stood up. As he looked up, his eyelids twitched. The bus had turned off at some point, leaving only myself in the carriage. The seats and floor were covered in a thick layer of dust, as if they had been abandoned for a long time, and a smell of decay filled my nose. What's going on here? His heart suddenly quickened and he quickly ran out of the car, causing the carriage to groan under the pressure. This is the city center, with towering buildings on both sides, making it the busiest place in Hanshui City. However, now it is incredibly quiet. The bustling and bustling streets of the past are now empty, with no one left behind. What's even more eerie is that the exterior walls of the building are extremely dilapidated, covered in black moss and dust. 
The entire city is shrouded in a layer of gray mist, and distant neon lights weakly flicker with bleeding red lights from the mist. Shops along the street are covered with spider webs, reflecting indigo light outwards. Jiang Yu stood on the city street, stunned by the sight before him. He raised his hand and wiped the cold sweat from his forehead, his voice trembling, Hey! Is there anyone there? The mist rolled and the sound echoed between the buildings. I just took a nap and the whole city disappeared. He looked down, his hands trembling unconsciously. Suddenly. Noticing something wrong. He pulled up the sleeve of his left arm, and a chill rose in his heart. On his forearm, a line of numbers seemed to be written in blood, constantly beating. He rubbed his arms hard, unable to erase it at all. 00.59.58-00.59.57-00.59.56 is this. A countdown. What's going on? Countless doubts made Jiang Yu dizzy for a while. He stared at the countdown on his arm, feeling his blood tremble with the flicker of numbers. An inexplicable sense of urgency arose, making Jiang Yu restless, as if something incredible would happen an hour later. He walked on the street in panic, although he didn't know what would happen an hour later, no matter what happened, he could only rely on himself at this moment. The blue light shining from the shop windows on both sides made his face extremely ugly. The fog in the city gradually became thick, and visibility gradually decreased. He turned a street corner and a black ancient temple shrouded in mist suddenly jumped into his sight. A huge black ancient temple sits in the center of the road, cutting it off. The eaves are high and the overhanging eaves are raised. Below is a mottled vermilion gate, with walls surrounded by blue bricks on both sides. The ancient temple is located on a huge platform built of white marble. The railings on both sides are carved with complex patterns, and behind it is a billowing fog. Strange and eerie. Jiang Yu froze in place for a moment before regaining consciousness. As long as you're not blind, a fool knows there must be something wrong with this temple. So he walked around the ancient temple. I just left for less than five minutes. Ha! Huh. This is. Something drifted down from the sky, and Jiang Yu reached out and saw a patch of dust falling from his palm. A smell of burning paper came from afar. This is paper money and ashes burned for the dead. Jiang Yu was greatly surprised, and then he heard a faint sound of swona coming from the mist ahead. He immediately stood up with sweat all over his body, his brain screaming, and his biological instincts frantically warning him, run. Jiang Yu immediately felt at ease from his heart, but his body was not strong enough. As he ran, he became softer and softer. However, he fell to the ground three to four hundred meters away, and the swona sound in his ears grew louder and louder. His mournful and piercing voice rose to the clouds. Jiang Yu looked back, revealing eerie figures in the thick mist from afar. I can't run away. Jiang Yu quickly made a judgment, then looked up and found himself falling under the steps of an ancient temple. Is this a coincidence or? Although he felt something was wrong in his heart, there was no time to dwell on it at this moment, and his heart froze. I bet. Get up and climb the stairs, running towards the ancient temple. Running to the door in one breath, the temperature around suddenly dropped, and a cold air blew out from the crevice of the door. He lifted his hand and pushed the door. UU reading www.uukangshu.net squeak. The wooden door was pushed open by a crack, and Jiang Yu flashed in and quickly closed the door. He leaned against the wooden door, dong. 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 His heart made a drumming sound, almost jumping out of his throat. At this moment, the swona sound was so loud that it was impossible to repeat, as if playing in his ear. He lay on the door, holding his breath, looking out through the crack in the door. Outside the door, the gray sky rustled with ashes, and amidst the swaying mist, a group of people dressed in mourning and with iron-blue faces were playing swona, bouncing and jumping past the steps. Behind them was a wooden sedan made of giant wood, 
with black shadows carrying it at the corners. On top of it sat a woman holding a spiritual throne. That woman was wearing a conical white pointed hat, her face as white as putty, her eyes black, and her lips blood red. Behind it is an incredibly huge coffin, as tall as two floors, with an endless length that stretches straight into the thick fog. If there's anything that can be used with such a coffin. Jiang Yu behind the door felt a cold breath rushing from his spine to the heavenly cover, holding his breath and not daring to move, until the funeral procession passed by the ancient temple and gradually disappeared into the thick fog. Ha! Huh. He was already blushing from holding back, gasping for breath. While gasping for breath, I looked at the ancient temple. The temple was covered in grey and numb, making it difficult to see clearly. In front of it was a courtyard, with a brick and stone road in the middle. On both sides stood low stone statues, and at the end of the road, the outline of a large hall could be vaguely seen. Jiang Yu had no intention of entering and checking, and stood up to leave. As soon as I turned around, a layer of cold sweat broke out from my back. Door. It's gone. Chapter 2 Exorcism You are listening at Novel Full Audio. The wooden door that I had been leaning against before has disappeared and been replaced by a green wall. Jiang Yu hurriedly stepped forward and punched, the cold walls incredibly hard. I knew it wasn't that simple. At this moment, there was a sharp pain in his arm, and he lowered his head and pulled up his sleeve. The blood countdown on his left arm was about to return to zero. 0.03.59.0.03.58.00.03.57 What happens after the countdown is reset to zero, Jiang Yu took continuous deep breaths, trying to calm himself down. He turned around and looked at the main hall behind him, I can only go in and take a look. He walked on the blue stone path and looked at the stone statues on both sides. It was only then that he realized that these statues did not have a head, which made them appear low and low. From the clothing of the statues, it was inferred that they should be a Taoist temple. There were no dust particles falling in the courtyard, as if a force had isolated them from the outside. Jiang Yu quickly walked to the main hall, where the door was open and a statue of a bodhisattva was sitting in the center. There is actually a statue of bodhisattva enshrined in the Taoist temple. The statue has sunken eye sockets, raised eyebrows, drooping corners of the eyes, and a smirk on its expression. Half of its face is hidden in the darkness, devoid of any sense of compassion, yet exuding a gloomy feeling. The countdown on the arm had already reached the last minute, and Jiang Yu didn't do what he wanted and went straight in. He looked around and found nothing else in the main hall except for the statue. He looked at the countdown on his arm and said, 03, 0 02, 0 01, 00. 0. Jiang Yu's heart suddenly clenched, but everything was quiet around him. The terrifying change he had anticipated did not happen, and his tense nerves relaxed slightly. This is. Suddenly, the sound of a cold instrument came to my ears. Open sequence, a paragraph suddenly appeared in my eyes. Name. Jiang Yu, Life Expectancy. 30 years old, sequence. None, promotable sequence detected, exorcism mage. Do you want to promote? Jiang Yu was puzzled in his heart and tried to answer in his heart, yes. Sequence. Exorcist mage. Activate. Ritual. Survive for three seconds under the gaze of evil creatures. Ding. Ceremony achieved. Promotion successful. Sequence. LV9 Exorcist Mage, 1%, Divine Skill. Exorcism, blood contains some exorcism power, what is this? A superpower. Jiang Yu guessed in his heart that everything here is eerie, and there are supernatural powers appearing, which seems to be understandable. Wait. What does it mean to have been stared at by an evil object for three seconds? No. Jiang Yu's scalp exploded and he quickly looked at the statue. The deity, whose eyes were originally drooping, 
now lifted its corner of the eye and looked at itself with a smile on its face. Jiang Yu's blood suddenly became extremely cold, frozen in place and afraid to move. The cold sweat on his hands dripped onto the ground one by one. Suddenly, there was a flower in front of me. There was only an empty altar in front of me, and the huge statue on it was gone. A cold wind blew from behind, and a huge shadow enveloped him. Looking back. The statue appeared behind Jiang Yu, and the hand made of clay was lifted up like lightning, grabbing Jiang Yu's neck and lifting it up. Jiang Yu lifted his feet off the ground and was pulled down by the statue in front of him. He grabbed the statue's arm and wanted to pull it off, but his arms remained motionless. His eyes, painted in red, were staring coldly at him, only to hear the statue's throat make a cluck. Cluck. Cluck sound. His mouth opened up to two dot thirds the size of his face, and a bright red tongue with thorns stuck out deep inside. Lick it on the face of Chao Jiang Yu. Are you dying? Jiang Yu thought desperately, no, exorcist. Yes, blood. Jiang Yu fiercely bit the tip of his tongue, opened his mouth, and a ball of blood spurted out from the tip of his tongue. The statue was unavoidable and landed on his tongue and face. Blood was like burning charcoal, making a sizzling sound on the face of the statue. A gust of green smoke emerged, causing it to scream in pain. It grabbed Jiang Yu's arm and let it go, causing him to fall to the ground. Jiang Yu took a few breaths and quickly ran towards the door. Running to the previous gate, tapping the wall, unable to find the way of birth, and looking back, the statue had already followed out, with a face burnt black and ferocious with blood. The huge figure brings a strong sense of oppression, gradually approaching Jiang Yu. In the desperate situation, Jiang Yu instead rose up with a fierce force, his eyes wide and fierce, and he said, Damn it. You want to eat me, right? Jiang Yu roared and looked around for a suitable weapon. Not far ahead, he saw a broken stone statue holding a stone sword. His eyes lit up and he stepped forward to pull it with his hands. Surprisingly, he was able to pull it off. He sprayed a mouthful of blood at the stone sword and charged towards the statue with his sword in hand. Runs to the front, swings his round arm, and the stone sword makes a piercing sound, roaring out. When it was about to be struck, the statue disappeared again. Jiang Yu didn't even think about it. With a flick of his long sword, he stabbed behind him. Puff. Sure enough, the statue's old technique was repeated and Jiang Yu stabbed it into the chest behind him. Jiang Yu grinned grimly and said, What's going on? Can you do these two things? He turned around and forcefully pulled out the stone sword, leaving a hole in the chest of the statue, emitting black air outward, and then stabbed it towards its throat. Ding! The blood on the sword body has been depleted after the previous stab, losing its exorcism power and being blocked by the throat of the deity statue. The statue opened its mouth wide, and its tongue suddenly shot out, entangled around Jiang Yu's body. Its bright red tongue was about to crawl towards his face. At the critical moment, Jiang Yu held the sword in his left hand and quickly wiped it with force. The rough stone surface instantly cut a deep hole in his palm, causing blood to flow out. Just as his tongue was about to enter Jiang Yu's mouth, he vigorously handed the sword. Puff. This time, it finally penetrated smoothly, and the statue froze instantly. The tongue wrapped around Jiang Yu was powerless to hang down, and Jiang Yu's wrist turned and pulled hard. A head soaring high. The statue in front of me collapsed with a loud bang, rapidly weathered and turned into a pile of powder. Jiang Yu had a pale complexion, breathing heavily in his breath and sweating profusely. Suddenly, he felt a pain in his abdomen and fell to the ground, spitting out sour water. He lay on the ground, watching the place where the statue had dissipated. In just one hour, what had happened had a huge impact on him. First, the city became dilapidated and empty, then there was a countdown on his arm, and finally, the funeral procession playing the swona entered the ancient temple, awakening in sequence and killing the statue. All of these make Jiang Yu, an ordinary urban worker, 
feel incredible. Perhaps I am no longer an ordinary person now. Jiang Yu looked at his palm, with a ferocious wound running through his palm, his flesh flipping open on both sides. A sharp pain in his heart was constantly tormenting his nerves, but at the same time, as his body heated up, a warm current seeped into his body, and he looked at the words in his eyes. Name Jiang Yu, Life Expectancy 30 years old, Sequence LV9 Exorcist Mage, 20%, Divine Skill Exorcism, Blood contains some exorcism power, after killing the statue, the progress of the exorcist mage increased from 1% to 20%, and it felt like the power in his blood had increased. Can killing the statue absorb energy for promotion? Jiang Yu thought silently in his heart. Suddenly, the world in front of me began to shake. Did an earthquake occur? Jiang Yu stood up and wanted to leave, but the ground was shaking violently. As soon as he stepped forward, his center of gravity was unstable and he fell down. He felt a whirl in the sky, and his eyes turned black. Jiang Yu suddenly opened his eyes and found himself sitting on the bus, with music still playing in his earphones. His body trembled and he looked out the window, misty rain and pedestrians weaving in. He opened his phone, and the time was prominently displayed on the screen. 19.30 Was it just a dream just now? Jiang Yu thought to himself, and suddenly a sharp pain came from his palm, turning his face pale with pain. Jiang Yu opened his palm and a wound pierced through it, still losing blood. At the same time, I found a stone sword with blood on the seat beside me. Ah! Beside Jiang Yu, a woman who lowered her head to brush her phone saw the person sitting next to her, with a pale face, black hair soaked in sweat, messy and sticking to her forehead, and blood dripping from her palms. She screamed in fear, Jiang Yu stared up, and the woman was so frightened that she stopped speaking. He tried his best to squeeze a smile at the girl and said, I accidentally fell and cut my palm. In my heart, a huge wave surged, everything before was true. Just as the bus arrived at the station, Jiang Yu hurriedly got off the bus full of worries, called a taxi, returned to the hospital, and wrapped his palm. By the time everything was done and we returned home, it was already eleven o'clock in the middle of the night. Jiang Yu wrapped his hands in bandages, turned on the lights when he entered the door, went to the water dispenser to get a cup of hot water, and then collapsed on the sofa. Inside, the dim yellow lights flickered. Is the lamp broken? The lights in the room illuminated Jiang Yu's face one by one. A sound came from the kitchen, Yu Yu reading www.yuyukangshu. Net overtime again today. I made you a late night snack. Hmm, I got it. Jiang Yu replied and started reading the history messages on his phone. Mobile company WeChat Group. Bai Lei. Where are the people from Jiang Yu? Bai Lei. At Jiang Yu has time to come to the company this afternoon. There is urgent work, everyone is here. Bai Lei. At Jiang Yu will reply immediately upon receiving the message. Bai Lei. At Jiang Yu, come to my office tomorrow. Jiang Yu was already tired and his head was in a daze. After reading the news, he was immediately enraged. His mother, take a sick leave and send your mother's message. Pick up your phone and start replying. At Bai Lei Ai Te, what is your father doing? At Bai Lei, your father has taken sick leave, do you know? At Bai Lei, go to hell with you. I'm not doing it anymore, go eat shit. Jiang Yu burst into a frenzy in the company group, where there were originally people talking, but now everything fell silent. Jiang Yu exhaled a mouthful of accumulated malice, feeling comfortable all over. He threw away his phone and picked up a water glass, ready to drink water. Suddenly frowning, huh? Why did the hot water I just poured get cold? He was puzzled in his heart, feeling as if he had overlooked something important. He grabbed his hair with his hand and thought hard. A cold wind blew in, and he looked at the window. The window was tightly closed, where did the wind come from? 
Suddenly, Jiang Yu's brain exploded and he said, I work alone in the city and live alone. Who is the person in the kitchen? He quickly looked towards the kitchen, and a black figure fell onto the floor, emitting the sound of a kitchen knife chopping through a chopping board. Chapter 3 Transformation You are listening at NovelFull.audio Jiang Yu sat on the sofa, looking into the kitchen. As soon as I entered the door, I was influenced by a force that blurred my memory. If it weren't for that jerk from the company who made me angry, it's ready right away. The things in the kitchen said. Jiang Yu held his breath, slowly stood up, picked up his stone sword, tried to make as little noise as possible, and moved towards the kitchen. He stared fixedly at the shadow at the kitchen entrance. Just three steps away from the kitchen door. Suddenly. Squeak. The wooden floor is in disrepair for a long time, making a sound, and the subtle sound is infinitely amplified in this quiet environment. The sound of chopping in the kitchen disappeared instantly, and Jiang Yu muttered to himself that it was not good. Without hesitation, he used his good right hand to apply it to the blade, and the piercing pain made his temples burst with veins. Then, with a big step, he rushed straight towards the kitchen. Just stepped into the kitchen. Pop. The lights went out and the room fell into darkness. Jiang Yu didn't care about so much, so as soon as he entered, he waved his arms and his sword blade swept through the air, making a piercing sound. Jiang Yu was rampaging and chopping in the kitchen, but he didn't get anything. No. In the dark like pig iron, he kept swinging and chopping left and right to ensure his own safety, until his arms became sore before stopping, panting heavily. Duh. An orange flame jumped out in the darkness, tearing through the darkness and illuminating Jiang Yu's pale face. Fortunately, there was a lighter in his pocket. Jiang Yu took the lighter and looked around, only to see a bloody thigh on the chopping board. Part of the flesh had already been removed, revealing the white bones of his legs. Jiang Yu's eyelids were twitching, and the air that had just rained was incredibly humid. Although it was already late autumn, Jiang Yu was still sweating all over, and his clothes were soft and sticky to his body. It was really uncomfortable. The smell of blood on the chopping board and the smell of sweat on his body made Jiang Yu more and more irritable. His eyes were angry in the flames. What the hell is it about chasing home? Suddenly, a drop of blood fell from above, onto his forehead. He lifted his head and looked up, right in front of a pair of red eyes. It was only a few centimeters away from Jiang Yu's face. A black shadow was pressed against the ceiling of the kitchen holding on to the cut flesh and dripping blood continuously. Puff. The light of the lighter was extinguished by a dark wind, and Jiang Yu's roar echoed in the darkness, die. The stone sword swung fiercely upwards, clang. With a metallic collision sound, a cluster of sparks burst out in the darkness. Jiang Yu held a sword in his left hand, and the sweat on his hand was slippery. Coupled with bandages, the collision caused the stone sword to detach and fly into an unknown corner of the darkness. But at this moment, Jiang Yu was burning with anger, overwhelming his fear, with only one thought in his mind. Kill it. He directly extended his right hand and grabbed it upwards. His right hand grabbed the ankle of the monster above, feeling a chilly sensation as if he had just come out of the freezer. The blood seeping from his palm bandage made a sizzling sound as the monster let out a strange scream and was pulled down by Jiang Yu. When it fell, Jiang Yu was knocked down, and the two of them rolled and tore on the floor. Jiang Yu, relying on the blood on his palm, was about to grab the monster's neck. As soon as his hand reached halfway through the path, a blurry red light flashed in front of him. Jiang Yu felt a sense of life and death crisis quickly retracting his hands and grabbing fiercely. A bone-cutting knife stopped in front of him. Pop! The lights in the room lit up again. In the kitchen, Jiang Yu was pressed under a middle-aged man with a pale face. He grabbed the blade in front of him tightly with both hands, and blood flowed from his hands, staining half of Jiang Yu's face red. He gritted his teeth tightly, his cheeks bulging high, 
and his forehead veins twitching. Although Jiang Yu's body underwent a strengthening and his strength slightly increased, he still couldn't push the sharp knife out. Instead, as time passed, the tip of the knife was slowly pressing down on his own eyeballs. Fresh blood flowed into Jiang Yu's eyes, staining his pupils red. He dared not blink at all. Just as his eyes had already felt the piercing cold of the blade, Jiang Yu forcefully tilted his head to the right, releasing his hand. The sharp knife plunged into the floor next to his head with a bang sound. Jiang Yu grabbed the monster's neck with both hands, and a large amount of blood flowed out of his palm, like boiling hot oil on the monster's body. A large amount of green smoke rose up, and Jiang Yu took advantage of the situation and flipped the monster to the ground. Then, riding on the monster, two blood-red fists crazily smashed towards its head. Blood splattered, but with just two or three punches, the monster's head had been smashed into a ball of rotten meat, which quickly dissipated and left a black mark on the floor. Jiang Yu took a long breath and lay down, ignoring the bloodstains on the floor. The family has finally become quiet. Sequence LV-9 Exorcist Mage 30%, a stream of heat flowed over him, slightly relieving the intense pain. Bang! 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 A burst of knocking on the door came. What are you doing upstairs? It's going to be so noisy downstairs. Do you have any qualities? You're renting a room, so be careful I'll have someone drive you out. A middle-aged woman wearing pajamas outside, cursing fiercely. Brush. The small window on the anti-theft door opened, revealing Jiang Yu's half-bloodless face. Get lost. The old lady refused to give up, pointing at Jiang Yu's nose and cursing him back, you from the countryside. Before she could finish speaking, she saw her bloodshot eyes staring coldly at her, like a hungry tiger about to devour. She was so scared that she kept retreating. When she tried to speak again, the window was already closed. Jiang Yu dismissed his aunt, looked at the blood on the ground, sighed, endured the pain, opened the window, dispelled the smell of blood, and began cleaning the floor. Everything is packed up, it's already late at night. He took off his clothes covered in blood, threw them into the trash can, and opened his phone to play music. Zeppelin Airship, Immigrant Song Amidst the strong drumbeat, he walked into the bathroom and started taking a shower. The passionate music drowned out the moans coming from the bathroom. A cold water column fell from the top of his head, relieving Jiang Yu's pain. He lowered his head and trembled as he removed the bandage from his hand. The bandage was already dirty and dark red, and it stuck to the flipped flesh. Jiang Yu's face was fierce with pain. After removing the bandage, Yu Yu washed his hands under cold water and the energy gained from killing him further strengthened his body, increasing his recovery. In no time, the blood had stopped. Jiang Yu stared naked at the mirror in the bathroom, but after only half a day, the person in the mirror made him feel unfamiliar. The originally weak and cowardly worker has disappeared, replaced by a man with a pale face, fierce eyes, and even a slightly neurotic feeling. The body has already developed muscle lines, the shoulders are much wider than before, and the chest muscles have begun to take shape. The sense of physical strength naturally gives him a sense of confidence. Perhaps things aren't that bad. He recalled his previous life, working tirelessly, eating a simple meal on the roadside after work, and then playing with his phone on the bed until late at night. The next day, he woke up and continued to repeat. I was confused all day, ordinary to the point of despair. However, today he felt that the strings of his destiny had been plucked, and he had countless possibilities. This feeling was unprecedented, making Jiang Yu incredibly intoxicated. After wandering between life and death several times, Jiang Yu felt something that had been suppressed in his heart was released. Jiang Yu smiled at himself in the mirror and wiped his body dry before leaving. He tore open his clean old clothes, simply wrapped his palms, and fell onto the bed. Suddenly, he felt drowsy and fell asleep in an instant. The wind and rain outside the window became increasingly fierce, 
and the trees swayed and rustled in the strong wind. In the community, a man wearing a black raincoat walked out of the dark rain curtain, with his hat pressed low and his face unclear. He held a feng shui compass in his hand, and the hands on the compass kept shaking until they finally stopped. What? It disappeared. Chapter 4 Inventory You are listening at NovelFull.audio What is it? A dot. What? What? The sky was gloomy with drizzle, and inside the rented house, a few beams of cold light shone through the window onto a sleeping face, causing a sudden frown on his face. Jiang Yu suddenly opened his eyes. The whispers in my ear disappeared, and it was tinnitus again. He lay in bed, feeling a wave of helplessness, and then opened his phone to check the time. It was only 7.30 in the morning. Just as he was about to take a deep nap, a wave of pain spread through his body, immediately dispelling his drowsiness. He had to sit up and examine the injury on his hand. The skin and flesh at the wound had turned white, and there was no longer any bleeding or inflammation, indicating that there should be a serious problem inside. The speed of body recovery is so fast. Jiang Yu couldn't help but sigh. I resigned yesterday and will go through the formalities in a few days. I have nothing to do today, so I just need to calculate my situation. His mind moved and a sequence of text appeared before his eyes, starting with the column on lifespan. Life expectancy. 30 years old, previously, the situation was urgent and there was no time for him to think, but now he has come to dwell on it. How come my lifespan is only 30 years? Is there any serious illness in my body? Is it caused by tinnitus? That's not right either, tinnitus will reduce lifespan, it's not cancer. That sound is definitely not tinnitus. After experiencing the eerie things of yesterday, Jiang Yu felt that talking in his ear was definitely not easy, and it was likely related to entering that dusty and eerie world. Life is crucial, we must find ways to improve it, but Jiang Yu is still helpless at the moment. Forget it, let it go for now. Jiang Yu took the stone sword placed on the bedside table and played with it in his hand. The stone sword was three feet and two inches long, three fingers wide, with a longer hilt. Below it was a simple sword tan, which was said to be a stone sword, more like a stone stick, and had a rustic atmosphere throughout. Jiang Yu remembers not wiping the blood off his sword last night, why is it missing now? Absorbed by the sword body. He curiously stroked the blade and felt a faint sharp sensation. Has the blade been sharpened? Jiang Yu exclaimed in surprise, remembering that this sword was the weapon of the stone deity and should have its own supernatural qualities. Let me give you a name. My divine ability is to ward off evil, so let's call you. Victory Sword. Since the stone sword can be brought over, does that mean? He immediately remembered the shops in the Grey World, where there were many gold shops. If he brought the gold inside, wouldn't he want to make a fortune? Thinking of this, he immediately began to look forward to the next time he entered the Grey World. With gold, where would he still need to live in this dilapidated rental house? Jiang Yu seems to have seen a beautiful life and wants to wave his hand. However, before entering the next time, you still need to improve your strength as much as possible, after all, in the grey world, besides gold, there are still a group of monsters that can kill people. My own sequence, the exorcism mage, and the supernatural powers given are at best passive skills that rely on self-harm in combat. It's okay to encounter one or two monsters, but once it increases, how much health can I put on my own body? I'm afraid the battle hasn't ended yet, so I'll bleed myself to death first. And I don't have any combat skills, I rely solely on my instincts to fight recklessly. If I come across a monster with agile skills, I'll go blind. We still need to find some more reliable methods in the future, and we should also exercise ourselves well, otherwise we won't be able to escape. Immediately, he formulated his current plan to exercise and learn one or two combat techniques. Especially in swordsmanship, the value of stone swords should be fully realized. 
After organizing his thoughts, Jiang Yu immediately got up, changed into sportswear, finished washing up, and went out. At this time, it was the rush hour for work. The subway entrance was crowded with white-collar workers. Men wore suits and shoes, combed their back hair, and women also wore small black suits and high-dot-heeled shoes, dressed like elites. Jiang Yu mixed in and rode all the way to Wudong District. Hanjiang City is divided into four districts. Wutong District, Pujiang District, Hanjiang District and Faixia District. Wutong District has a rich flavor of life, whether it is a high-dot-end luxury commercial plaza or a small shop on the street. Pujiang District is a commercial center, with a pile of high-dot-grade office buildings, where Jiang Yu got off the bus yesterday, Hanjiang District is where the government agencies are located, and Faixia District is a suburb, with beautiful natural environment and villas for the rich. In Wutong District, Jiang Yu had breakfast at a street store, then walked around the street with an umbrella, and chose a store with six floors high and the most magnificent decoration. Sitting at the front desk was a girl with exquisite makeup. Accompanied by her, Jiang Yu walked around the gym, learned about the relevant business, and made a decision in her heart. Not bad, how much does it cost per month? 15,001 months. Jiang Yu looked at the balance of 30,000 months in his WeChat wallet and felt a pang of pain in his heart. However, when he thought about it, there was still a lot of gold waiting for him, and he felt relieved. Moreover, the facilities and courses here were indeed very good, and swordsmanship was also taught. He saved himself time to look for it and immediately went through the procedures. When did your swordsmanship class start here? I'll have it this afternoon. If you're interested, I'll make an appointment for you now. Okay, then make an appointment for me, on a weekday morning, there were not many people in the gym. The most attractive thing for Jiang Yu was a boxing ring in the center of the field. Unfortunately, the coach had not yet started work, so Jiang Yu did strength training alone in the equipment area. Just enough to test the data of the body after two rounds of strengthening, he practiced the equipment thoroughly. Push 100 pounds horizontally, squat 180 pounds deeply, and pull 185 pounds hard. During Jiang Yu's practice, a burly man wearing a fitness vest walked over and stood beside him, holding a pen and paper in his hand, occasionally recording data. Very impressive. This data is already at the level of an ordinary person's system training for a year. Are you? I am your personal coach, Luo Ping. Do you have any expectations for your physique, sir? I don't exercise, what I want to learn is that. Jiang Yu pointed to the arena. Okay, sir. I am also a former provincial team Sonda coach and can provide you with the most professional guidance. I want to learn the most practical combat skills. The most comprehensive form of combat currently is UFC combat, which involves standing and practicing jutsu on the ground. I also know it. Okay, let's start now. The two of them immediately entered the arena. Luo Ping first explained the basic principles of combat to Jiang Yu, and Yu Yu started teaching from the most basic steps, exertion, and breathing. Jiang Yu's physical strengthening is very comprehensive, with good coordination and quick learning. As long as Luo Ping demonstrates one side, he can replicate it, leaving Luo Ping amazed. He suspected that Jiang Yu was hiding his strength, but his professional skills did not reveal his doubts. There was not much basic content, and Jiang Yu had already mastered it in half an hour. He requested to start practical combat, so Luo Ping had to rely on Jiang Yu. The two of them put on gloves and started fighting. The strength of the former provincial team coach is indeed not bad, and he has already mastered the control of distance alone. Jiang Yu's attacks have hit the air several times, but Luo Ping firmly blocked Jiang Yu's arm span distance. The attack distance must be sensitive, preferably getting stuck on the border. Stepping up can attack, and retreating can defend. In practical combat, Luo Ping constantly spoke out and guided Jiang Yu. His theoretical knowledge before was quickly digested, and his strength made visible progress. The more he taught, 
the more he became alarmed. He had never seen such a demon before, and his learning ability was too strong, right? In the morning, I learned martial arts at Luoping's place. At noon, I took a shower in the shop, where there was a paid massage service. Jiang Yu ordered a relaxation muscle, and in the afternoon, I took a swordsmanship class. In addition to Jiang Yu, there were two men and one woman in the class, both young and middle. Aged. The instructor was also a basic swordsmanship technique. Chopping, stabbing, and pointing, flirting, breaking, cutting, wiping, wearing, picking, lifting, twisting, sweeping, etc. Until 6 p.m. in the afternoon, Jiang Yu returned home and was very satisfied with the service provided by the gym today. Sure enough, there is a reason why it is expensive. At this moment, a group of people gathered downstairs, and Jiang Yu was watching. A middle-aged lady was dancing and saying something to several police officers. Seeing Jiang Yu, his eyes lit up and he pointed at him, saying, that murderer is him. Chapter 5 Li Fangyao You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. As soon as the onlookers heard this, they suddenly dispersed with a loud roar. Several police officers immediately became nervous and drew their batons from their waists, as if facing a great enemy. Stand still, someone is reporting you for murder. Please cooperate with the investigation. As he was speaking, a few police officers came down from the unit building. The leader was wearing white gloves and holding a black evidence bag, with half of his leg exposed from the opening of the bag. The crowd suddenly erupted in excitement. I'll go, you're really the latest serial killer. This person looks so clear-eyed, surprisingly so perverted. Nowadays, there are really all kinds of people renting out houses. I think we need to clear out all the tenants in the community and live in the same community as the murderer. It's too scary. The middle-aged lady boasted to the people around her with a beaming expression, just say I see people accurately, this kid is not a good person with just one glance at me. Miss Wong, you're really amazing. You're a big hero in our community. Cuff it up. The leading police shouted loudly, and the police rushed forward, cutting Jiang Yu's hands back and handcuffing him. Jiang Yu remained expressionless throughout the journey, without saying a word. He had originally planned to get rid of that person's leg tonight, but to his surprise, the police arrived so quickly. As for resistance, my divine ability is only to ward off evil, and I am good at dealing with monsters. In other aspects, I am no different from ordinary people. Police Station The Interrogation Room Jiang Yu was handcuffed to a chair, with two police officers sitting in front of him and a video recorder on the side. Tell me. Why did you kill someone? I didn't kill. How could that person's leg be in your house? Where did you bury the other bodies? I didn't kill people. Don't play tricks, being honest is your only way out. No matter how the police questioned him, Jiang Yu tossed and turned in one sentence, he didn't kill anyone. When the two were at a loss, the door opened and a police officer and a woman wearing a black windbreaker walked in. The woman is extremely beautiful, with delicate facial features, delicate and fair skin, and a tall figure. As soon as she enters, the room seems to instantly become much brighter. Jiang Yu has never seen such a beautiful woman in real life. Two police officers immediately stood up and said, Zhang Bureau. Well, let me introduce you. This is the comrade in charge of this case, Li Fangyao. She will take over the following matters. After a few people had gone out, Li Fangya stepped forward and turned off the video recording. Sitting on a chair, she flipped through the files on the table and heard a refreshing sound like spring water. Jiang Yu, male, 25 years old, single, originally from Qin province, with a bachelor's degree, came to work in this city for two years. One day ago, he was diagnosed with a mental illness at the city hospital. This afternoon, after being reported by citizens, he found a human thigh fragment at home. Pop. She closed the files and stared at Jiang Yudao. Tell me, what's going on? 
I didn't kill people. I didn't say you killed anyone either. What else should I say? Tell me what you know. Jiang Yu smiled bitterly in his heart and said, Do I know? Do you believe it when you say it? How do you know I don't believe you don't say? Jiang Yu raised the corner of his mouth and stared into Li Fangya's eyes. He paused word by word and said, I said it was a mysterious killing. Do you believe it? I believe it. Jiang Yu instantly widened his eyes and said incredulously, Do you believe what I'm saying? I'll tell you, I don't have the energy. Have you awakened the sequence? Li Fangya interrupted with words, which immediately stirred up a frenzy in Jiang Yu's heart. He squinted his eyes and said, What sequence? I don't know what you're saying. Li Fangya smiled and said, Don't be nervous, you are not the only one awakened in this world. Jiang Yu thought the sequence was his exclusive, but to his surprise, there were still people like him. According to Li Fangya's tone, there were still quite a few. And she seems to know some more things. What exactly happened in this world? Let's talk about this case first. Since Li Fangya knew about the existence of deceit, Jiang Yu no longer had any concerns and concealed his experience of entering the Grey World. The rest was told in detail. Do you say that as soon as you enter the house, your memory is tampered with? It's not as serious as tampering, it's just a dull mind, subconsciously ignoring some unreasonable things. Indeed, it was contaminated by Seal 038, and the degree of pollution is getting deeper and deeper. This newcomer has great potential and can actually solve the zombie puppet alone. Li Fanya thought to herself. That's all I know, now you can answer my question. Li Fanya withdrew her thoughts and said, I don't know much about it, but as you can see, our world has become different. The time when the change occurred was about two years ago when a strange object appeared. That's the one you killed. Jiang Yu was shocked, two years ago. Is there a correlation between the time when babbling appears in one's own ear and the time when talking? What's going on with the awakening sequence? Jiang Yu asked. Li Fangya smiled and said, let's chat in another place. After all, this is someone else's place, so it's inconvenient to talk about it. Immediately, he stepped forward and opened the handcuffs for Jiang Yu, leading him directly out of the police station. People from the police station are all glancing, what's going on? Just caught it, will we release it now? The two police officers who were interrogated before couldn't sit still and stood up to stop the questioning, but the director stopped them. Zhang Ju, this is against the rules. The case has already been handed over, don't worry. How can we let someone go as the procedures haven't been completed yet, I will personally complete the procedures later. Li Fangya took Jiang Yu onto a black SUV, and sent Jiang Yu back with a faint fragrance. Li Fangya took the initiative to speak up in the car and said, Monsters and sequences appear at the same time and awaken in the crowd, with a proportion of less than 1 in 10,000. You're lucky. Jiang Yu pondered in his heart, 1 in 10,000. Isn't there a 140,000 awakened people in our country? It's fortunate that I became a treasure and spent half a day making the original cabbage. Jiang Yu's expression was seen by Li Fangya, who smiled and said, Why, do you immediately feel like you're not that special anymore? Everyone reacts the same way the first time they know about it. They thought you were the chosen one, but in the end, you're only one in 14,000. Jiang Yu smiled but didn't speak. Li Fangya continued, I'm telling you these things to correct your mentality and not do foolish things. Don't think that with your supernatural powers, you can be lawless. No matter what your sequence is, ask yourself before encountering something. Can you stop bullets? Rocket launchers, anti-armor shells, neurotoxins, and the joint assassination of multiple awakened individuals. With a country in place, the world can't be chaotic yet. Li Fangya tapped Jiang Yu and said, There are numerous and varied sequence paths with different abilities. With each promotion, while strengthening existing abilities, you will also gain new abilities. The higher the sequence, the stronger the strength. What sequence do you awaken to? 
Jiang Yu asked in reverse, shouldn't you first say your own when asking others? Li Fangya didn't care and said directly, the sequence of my awakening is the qi practitioner, with the divine power of breathing, which can nourish my body. Jiang Yu saw that Li Fangya was straightforward, and he no longer hesitated. I am the exorcist mage, and my blood contains the power of exorcism. What? You can ward off evil spirits. Chapter 6 Going Home You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 6 Squeak A sharp brake applied, and the tire rubbed two black marks on the ground. Jiang Yu forgot to fasten his seatbelt and getting on the car and bumped into the glove box in front of him. Can you drive? How could you brake so hard? Who told you not to fasten your seatbelt? You have no safety awareness at all. Jiang Yu felt guilty and couldn't say anything. He asked, why, there's a problem with my sequence. No, but if that's what I think, your sequence is of great value. I found a treasure. Li Fangya thought to herself. There are many types of monsters, and most common monsters can be eliminated at the physical level. Although these monsters have different strengths, they can ultimately be solved with the help of firearms. It's just a problem of having one more or one less shell, but there is also a part that cannot be touched at the physical level, which is usually referred to as ghosts. If it's not for targeted supernatural powers, it can be very tricky to handle, usually handled by high-sequence players. For example, Jiang Yu awakened those targeting supernatural powers in low sequences, which is rare. The vehicle started again, and Li Fangya's tone became somewhat enthusiastic this time. After saying so much, I believe you are also aware that the country has strict control over awakeners and will not allow you to act recklessly outside. At the same time, corresponding regulatory agencies have been established to not only deal with strange events in society, but also pursue those who violate the law. I am one of them. Now, I invite you to join our organization. Do you agree? Oh. I finally got to the point. Jiang Yu thought to himself, probably that was the purpose of hitting himself before. When it comes to work, don't we first talk about benefits? There is an establishment. The salary is 10,000 yuan per month, and there is an additional bonus for handling events, and there is no need to pay taxes. If there are no major issues, you can easily get 40,000 to 50,000 yuan per month. In addition, you can enjoy a housing subsidy of 300,000 yuan, and all medical expenses will be reimbursed. With less work and more money, it is definitely better than working in a private company. What if I choose not to join? It won't be enforced, will it? Of course not, until you have not violated laws and regulations, you are still a citizen of the country and protected by the law. However, I still recommend that you join. After joining, not only can you receive formal training from the country, but also think tanks can study your supernatural abilities, provide possibility analysis, fully tap into your potential, and have the authority to access confidential information. Didn't you be very interested in what happened in this world before? As long as you join, perhaps you will get the answer. I just resigned yesterday, can I consider it? Of course, I'll give you my phone number. If you decide, please call me anytime. At this point, the car has already arrived at Jiang Yu's residential area, and Jiang Yu got off to bid farewell. As soon as they entered the community, the residents were stunned when they saw Jiang Yu and said, Oh, how did you release it? No, with this kind of pervert, can we still live in this community? A group of people were whispering to Jiang Yu from afar. Jiang Yu remained unmoved and, as he was going upstairs, met his own aunt downstairs head dot on. Auntie saw Jiang Yu and was so scared that her hands and feet were cold. She leaned against the corridor and looked at Jiang Yu in terror, afraid to speak. Jiang Yu walked sideways by her side, and as they intertwined, she gave her a cold glance. I waited for Jiang Yu to go upstairs and open the door before Aunt dared to move. He walked downstairs in a panic, muttering to himself, we can't live in this community anymore. 
we must drive out the tenants. He ran towards the neighborhood committee. Jiang Yu returned to his room and looked at the room being turned upside down, feeling frustrated. Fortunately, the Xingxia sword was treated as a craft and not taken away, but thrown in the corner. After a brief sorting, Jiang Yu sat on the sofa pondering, no matter what happens outside, your own strength is the most important. Just like today, when facing the police, you don't have any resistance ability. Although the exorcism magic is very powerful in dealing with monsters, it is completely useless in dealing with people. This is currently your biggest weakness. We still need to learn fighting. Jiang Yu sighed and immediately stood up to review the fighting skills learned today. First, practice boxing in the air in the living room, and then use the Xingxia sword to review basic swordsmanship. The Xingxia sword has a particularly heavy hand pressure. Previously, Jiang Yu could easily perform an action with a wooden sword, but now he is using the Xingxia sword, which severely deforms the action. No wonder those powerful swordsmen in the novel can't easily lose their matching swords. When fighting with an unfamiliar sword, their overall strength must drop by at least 30%. You should know that if two people fight in life and death, one achievement higher can survive, and 30% higher can pay the price of minor injuries to kill each other, and the difference is evident. Jiang Yu developed a swordsmanship training plan for himself, practicing all basic swordsmanship 300 times at UU reading www.uukangshu.net. The sound of breaking through the air constantly came from the rented house, sweat soaked bandages on his hands, and a burning pain came from it, but Jiang Yu didn't care. Time flowed, and the floor was already soaked with sweat. After practicing, he became familiar with the center of gravity, size, and attack range of the Xingxia sword, and the long sword in his hand gradually moved to his heart. In the room downstairs from Jiang Yu, the ceiling was thumping, and the middle dot aged lady gritted her teeth as she watched the dust fall from the ceiling. The next day, Jiang Yu was awakened by the sound of babbling again. He woke up with dark circles under his eyes. Although his body was full of vitality, the quality of sleep was too poor, and his mind was still in a state of lethargy. He took a cold shower, refreshed himself, put on clean sportswear, and went out to have a good breakfast at the street stall. On the way to the gym by subway, I received a call from the landlord asking Jiang Yu to check out. His attitude was very tough, and even if he paid a penalty, he had to terminate the contract. Jiang Yu was not surprised and agreed to check out in three days. Even if he awakens, he will still be influenced by worldly affairs, with only over 10,000 yuan left on his body. He becomes increasingly eager to enter the grey world next time, and cannot afford to eat. At the gym, Jiang Yu cleared away distractions and focused on practicing martial arts. There are many people in the gym today, with good looks. It is indeed a place that costs 15,000 yuan per month. Men wear fitness vests and generally practice well, with a good figure. Women wear sports bras and yoga pants and exercise in the aerobic area, with a graceful figure. Jiang Yu practiced fighting with Luo Ping as usual, and today he taught leg techniques and ground jutsu very quickly. Luo Ping was worried that if he continued like this, he would soon have nothing to teach. Immediately, my mind moved. Mr. Jiang, you are very talented in fighting. Do you have any interest in Chinese martial arts? Chapter 7 National Art 8 Poles You are listening at NovelFull.audio Jiang Yu was resting, drinking water to recover his strength. When he heard Luo Ping's words, he asked, Chinese martial arts. Aren't those some fancy tricks? What I want is practical combat ability. Luo Ping smiled and said, The routine performance of Chinese martial arts is indeed flashy, but besides the routine, there are also practice and play methods. When it comes to practicality, Chinese martial arts is actually the most practical. When dealing with people, it usually only takes one or two moves, which fully meets your needs. Oh. Do you know? Hee <laughs> hee, I have practiced it before, but I'm not here to teach you. I can contact my master. 
He has practiced the eight extremes fist for a lifetime and is also well dot known throughout the province. If you're interested, I can recommend one or two to you. Jiang Yu finally came to his senses and said, so, it's about privately promoting courses for himself. Does this mean the store doesn't care? Mr. Jiang, you misunderstood. My master is also teaching swordsmanship in the store. Oh, it's him. Jiang Yu raised his eyebrows, and the old man from the swordsmanship class appeared in his mind, with white beard and hair, a simple face, and a serious smile during teaching. There was almost no nonsense, and he didn't expect to even know how to use the eight extremes fist. That's right, swordsmanship is also a type of Chinese martial arts, and it's not surprising. Isn't the weapon in the eight extremes fist the six harmony spear? Why is there still swordsmanship? Jiang Yu also has a certain understanding of the eight extremes fist, which is a foreign martial arts technique known for its strong and domineering style. It is known for its hard hitting and hard opening. People often say that the martial arts of the eight extremes can stabilize the world, while the martial arts of the eight extremes can stabilize the heavens and earth. Some even praise the eight extremes fist, which shakes its arms and falls to the sky, and stomps its feet to shake the nine provinces. This shows the dominance of this boxing technique, and the accompanying weapon is a large gun. The principles of marksmanship and swordsmanship are similar. While the eight extremes fist is undoubtedly the most famous in terms of marksmanship, swordsmanship cannot be underestimated. Among them, there are three sets of swordsmanship. Yuexia sword, Qingping sword, and Zhuanhuan Yulong sword. My master practices Zhuanhuan Yulong sword. You need to pay extra. Luo Ping smiled brightly and said, Of course, ordinary basic swordsmanship is free. If you want to learn eight extremes fist and soul turning dragon sword, the tuition fee is 30,000 yuan per month. Hua. It's twice as much as the gym. Mr. Jiang, true biographies have been difficult to find since ancient times. The original master only passed on true biographies to two or three people in his lifetime. My master also lamented the decline of traditional Chinese culture, abandoned the view of family, and brought out his true skills without any falsehood. This price is definitely not at a loss. With Luo Ping's hard work in selling classes, Jiang Yu was tempted. His supernatural powers dealt with monsters, his martial arts dealt with humans, and he walked on two legs more steadily. But my savings are not enough at all. I am really poor and rich in martial arts. I only practiced martial arts for two days and spent most of my previous work savings. It seems that there will still be more expenses in the future. How about accepting Li Fangya's invitation? After all, the treatment is indeed very good, and in the future, it will be more convenient to sell the gold in the grey world and have a public identity. Mr. Jiang, how are you considering? Jiang Yu immediately gritted his teeth and agreed, took out his credit card and overdrawn 30,000 yuan to swipe it over. However, before the shadow of gold could be seen, he had already gone into debt. After paying the fee, Luo Ping took Jiang Yu to a lounge on the top floor of the gym. Knock at the door. Master, there is a client who wants to learn the eight extremes fist, I brought it up. Enter. Pushing the door in, there was a tatami mat laid out in the lounge. In the middle, a little old man in a grey robe sat cross-legged on a futon with his back to the door. In front of him was a wooden table, with an incense burner and a slowly burning incense stick. On the back wall hung a painting, with a large static character written in the dance of dragons and phoenixes. The two of them took off their shoes and walked forward. After explaining the situation to the old man, Luo Ping turned around. Although the old man had a graceful figure, his eyes were particularly bright. He stared intently at Jiang Yu's eyes, and Jiang Yu instantly felt a sense of oppression. However, Jiang Yu was a character who wandered through the gates of hell several times, killing two monsters. This pressure was naturally not a big deal, so he looked back directly. The two were deadlocked for a period of time. 
You have good courage and are a young martial arts practitioner. I have agreed to your request. Okay, there's also an introductory test. I paid for it myself, but if I can't pass the test, I won't teach it anymore. Jiang Yu looked displeased at Luo Ping, who apologized and said, the rules of the older generation, I know it's not a big deal for you, so I didn't say it. In these two days of battles, although Luo Ping's techniques were higher than Jiang Yu's, it did not mean that he dealt with them very easily, especially when he pushed Jiang Yu to a corner several times and Jiang Yu counterattacked, the fierce intent in his eyes made him tremble with fear. If it was really a life and death battle, he felt that the person who survived must be Jiang Yu. As an urbanite, there is very little blood sticking to my hands, and I have never killed anyone before. Fighting requires one courage, two strength, and three skills. I lost on my own courage, no matter how high my martial arts are, it's useless. He also wondered where Jiang Yu's murderous intent came from, and even suspected that Jiang Yu had killed anyone. However, when he thought about it, in this era, how could murderers dare to openly show their faces could be attributed to Jiang Yu's talent. Genius is always unreasonable, isn't it? The old man spoke out at this moment, old man, Ji Sheng, has practiced the eight extremes fist all his life and has achieved some success. How old are you now? Have you learned martial arts before? At the age of twenty-five, I learned to fight with Luo Ping for two days. That's just that I don't have any foundation. At your age, learning boxing is a bit late. I'll start by feeling my bones. After Ji Xing finished speaking, he stood up and rubbed his bones on Jiang Yu. Despite the old man's age, the strength in his hands was not light, causing Jiang Yu to feel sore all over. Ji Xing touched his bones and his eyes lit up. Ha! Huh. It's strange. Ji Xing discovered that although Jiang Yu had a thin and weak physique, his large muscles were extremely strong, far exceeding those of ordinary people. He couldn't help but place some importance on Jiang Yu, but did not explicitly state it. He only said that it was acceptable because it was not a traditional apprenticeship and he did not compromise on any rituals. He directly began teaching Jiang Yu martial arts. The Eight Extremes Fist emphasizes strength, explosiveness, coldness, crispness, speed, and ruthlessness. It trains a burst of explosive power on the body, and those who can win with one move do not use the second move. It emphasizes the eight intentions of the inner memory, the eight forms of the outer body, and the eight faces of power. The eight senses of memory are the key to winning first, which include shock, panic, malice, poison, ferocity, fierceness, spirit, and urgency. There are eight shapes on the outside, namely dragon, tiger, bear, monkey, swallow, dog, eagle, and quail. The eight sides of the powerful force are in all directions. Yu Yu reading www.yuyukangshu.net When practicing the eight extremes fist, one must reach the limit of strength. Strength originates from the feet and dominates the waist. It is transmitted through the shoulders, elbows, and hands, and the force is distributed around the body. To exert a full force, it is explosive force. You advance and I advance, you retreat and I advance, you hit me, I don't hide, I still move up, you walk and I follow up Ji Xing explained while practicing with Jiang Yu. In between, his movements were slow, just like an ordinary old man practicing Tai Chi in the square, demonstrating basic movements one by one. Pushing, holding, wrapping, holding, chopping, picking, chopping, and smashing. The movements were simple and unadorned, and Jiang Yu felt as if they were just like this. Ji Xing seemed to guess Jiang Yu's thoughts, and during the final blow, his chest suddenly exploded with a loud bang. His originally slow fist quickly exerted force, striking fiercely from top to bottom, while stomping his feet. For a moment, the crisp sound of his clothes and the roar of his fist piercing the air, along with the muffled sound of stomping the ground, all three merged into one, bang, a loud bang. The floor seemed to be shaken by the old man, and Jiang Yu was overjoyed. This was the boxing technique I was looking for, and he had no other thoughts. He obediently followed the old man to learn. 
Luo Ping said goodbye while practicing boxing, while Jiang Yu and Ji Xing continued to practice swordsmanship in the afternoon. Let's go downstairs to the classroom together. The Soul Turning Dragon Sword is also composed of basic sword techniques. The old man asked Jiang Yu to also practice basic sword techniques well. The specific sword techniques will be taught later. After class, when all the other students left, Ji Sheng continued to teach the Eight Extremes Fist. Fist is fundamental, practice boxing first, and then you will naturally master swordsmanship later on. At 8 o'clock in the evening, that's all for today. Too much is too late. Kung Fu not only relies on practice, but also requires mastery. Otherwise, in just two days of practice, your essence and blood will dry up. I'll give you a pile method. You go back and stand first. When Jiang Yu returned home, it was already around 10 o'clock, and then he remembered to call Li Fangyo. Chapter 8 Investigation Bureau 3 You are listening at Novel Full Dot Audio. Jiang Yu dialed the phone with his phone. Hello. Li Fangya's voice appeared on the phone. I joined. Great. There's one more thing, can we advance this salary for a month first? I haven't started yet, so I'm just thinking about advancing my salary. We're funded by the government, okay. You should still be a private enterprise. Add me on WeChat and I'll send you an address. I'll report tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. Jiang Yu looked embarrassed, and now he really can't afford it. Not to mention the 30,000 yuan credit card overdraft, he will move out of the community in three days, and the penalty will just offset last month's room fee. He also needs to find a hotel. Today, Mr. Ji Sheng reminded him to eat more meat and supplement his martial arts consumption in the future. He will provide himself with food supplements and charge separately, and there are places where money is spent everywhere. He awkwardly shifted the topic also, after talking for so long, what is the name of the organization? Third Bureau of Investigation So ordinary, I thought it was some kind of dragon group or supernatural investigation bureau. The name mentioned above, but everyone in the circle calls us sword wielders. After the call, Jiang Yu added Li Fangya's WeChat on his phone, with the WeChat name. Sleepy, don't ask. The avatar is a sleeping rabbit. TSK TSK, this WeChat name seems to have a lot of licking dogs. Jiang Yu's WeChat is very simple. Jiang Wu Guan. WeChat has been approved, and the other party has sent an address. 404 Pingyin Street, Hanjiang District. Sure enough, it was in Hanjiang District, and then another message came from across. Jiang Yu. Jiang Wu Guan. Taken from Blizi. There is no such thing as external affairs and internal views. This woman is quite cultured, Jiang Yu thought to himself. The two of them chatted on WeChat for a while, and Li Fangya kept getting further and further apart, until he asked him if he had a girlfriend and if he wanted to introduce him or some other gossip. Jiang Yu noticed that Li Fangya looked at Gao Lang and became familiar with him. After listening to him, he opened his mouth and couldn't stop talking for a long time. Before going to bed, Jiang Yu wanted to stand still and replied, Sleep, don't ask. In a villa in Faxia district, Li Fangya was lying in bed. When she saw a reply, this sentence was usually used by her to end a conversation. Today, Jiang Yu used it, so she gritted her teeth in anger and turned off her phone. Cut. It's not uncommon to chat with you. Jiang Yu turned off his phone and stood at a stake in the room. Standing stakes is a fundamental skill in Chinese martial arts, and almost all boxing techniques have their own unique skills called stake skills, which are used to regulate qi and blood, nourish the body, and generate strength. According to the boxing proverb, if one does not practice boxing, in the end, it will be in vain, and this skill refers to stake skills. Ji Xingjiao's two pillars of the eight extremes fist are the head of yin and yang, known as qian, kun, tian, and di. It is the most core technique of the eight extremes fist. 
Pay attention to the blue sky above your head and step on the clear spring with your feet, embracing the baby, with two elbows on top of the mountain. Breath requires four words. Stillness, smoothness, softness, and explosion. Jiang Yu stood in a good posture. In no time, he felt his legs sore and his whole body stiff. He couldn't even reach the first word of stillness. He felt countless ants crawling on his body, feeling extremely uncomfortable. He could only grit his teeth and hold on for half an hour. Suddenly, he felt his body light and no longer tremble. It was much easier. By the time he finished his exercises an hour later, his hands were already swollen and his forehead was sweating profusely. Instead, he wasn't sweating profusely like he had practiced boxing and swordsmanship before. Surprisingly so magical. Jiang Yu sighed and decided to add standing posts to his daily training tasks. At present, his daily training tasks are Standing for one hour, practicing baji fist and basic swordsmanship, with each movement performed 300 times. After everything has been practiced and taken a shower, it's already 2 o'clock in the morning. Anyway, Jiang Yu can't sleep well due to whispering in his ear, so it doesn't matter. The next morning, I woke up at 7 o'clock, deliberately had a sumptuous breakfast, and took a taxi to report in Hanjiang district. The taxi arrived and only then did it realize that there were soldiers standing guard at the gate. The driver's gaze at Jiang Yu changed instantly. Being able to work in such an organization was at least a deputy director, right? As soon as Jiang Yu got off the car, she saw Li Fangya eagerly waiting at the door. She was wearing a denim jacket today, with a warm yellow sweater inside and a ponytail tied, looking particularly bright. Seeing Jiang Yu from a distance, he greeted him and said, You haven't applied for a job yet. You want me to take you inside and get in the car? We're all at the door, still driving. It's big inside. Indeed, as Li Fangya said, there is a lake not far from the gate, with two forked roads. Walking along the road on the right, there are lush greenery and numerous rockeries along the way. Coupled with the water of the Wanghu Lake, it is surprising that there is such a landscape garden forest in this precious land of the Hanjiang district. Inside, it is extremely deep and peaceful, with wild ducks babbling on the lake surface. Jiang Yu was stunned, and the national unit is indeed powerful. Not wrong. The car drove for five minutes before finally seeing an old three-story office building located by the lake, with a flagpole standing in front of the door. The two of them got off the car and as soon as they walked in, Jiang Yu felt that the flagpole was not right, so he looked up and drove away. Surprisingly, there is someone up there. This person's feet were tied with ropes, hanging upside down on the flagpole, with a blue nose and swollen face, and he was already unconscious. Is this? Who is this person? Jiang Yu asked Li Fangya. Li Fangya casually glanced at him and said, Oh. I made a mistake and was slightly punished by the leader. Don't worry, we generally do not advocate corporal punishment and focus on ideological work. It's just that this guy's actions are too outrageous and the leader couldn't bear it anymore before taking action. Our leaders are very good. Jiang Yu suspected in her heart and wanted to be more careful, but Li Fangya kept urging her and had to follow her into the office building. The office building is a common layout, with a courtyard at the entrance and large steps facing each other. The two of them enter an office, and Li Fangya picks up a pile of materials from the filing cabinet and puts them on the table. Fill in the job materials first. The first one is the employee information form. Yu Yu reading www.yuyukangshu.net only has a thin page, and behind it are all confidentiality agreements that require Jiang Yu to sign and then press his fingerprint on the name. Just as it was written, a middle-aged man came in outside the door, wearing golden goggles, combing his back, wearing an administrative jacket, elegant in temperament, holding a glass teacup in his hand. Hello leader. Jiang Yu, this is our leader, Wei Jian. Jiang Yu stood up to say hello, and Wei Jian smiled and said, Sit down, sit down, you are Xiao Jiang. 
I heard from Xiaoya that you have recruited a new person with special potential, but I don't believe it yet. Today, I saw that you are indeed a talented person. On behalf of our unit, we welcome you to join. There are a lot of materials, so don't worry, write slowly, look slowly. Our unit has a special nature and there is nothing we can do. Wei Jian turned around and then left. Jiang Yu continued to write until the last page and stopped writing at the last signature. Looking up at Li Fangya, he asked, I still want to ask, what mistake did the person hanging on the flagpole at the door make? Oh, it's not a big deal. Just borrowing money from society and not repaying it. When someone comes to collect debts, he hides from the company and the debt collectors cannot enter, causing a very negative impact. Moreover, he refuses to change his ways, which is why the leader took action. Is there such an operation? Am I also? Li Fangya saw Jiang Yu's eyes brighten and quickly said, You must not learn from him. Our department has already produced such a strange thing. Let's have another one. I'm afraid the leader won't be angry to death. Don't be fooled by the kindness of the leader. When he gets angry, it's really scary. Jiang Yu thought back to his brother hanging outside for a moment and finally extinguished the thought, forget it, I still have gold to sell, there's no need. Immediately, sign and press the fingerprint on the document. Chapter 9 Ready to prepare. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. After filling out the materials, Li Fangya took Jiang Yu to a room on the basement floor, where only a huge electronic instrument emitting metallic silver light was placed. In the middle was a glass jar filled with blue liquid, and a human brain was immersed in it. There are dense tubes inserted into the brain, connected to instruments. Li Fangya turned on the instrument and the dashboard light lit up. This is the most advanced real brain that can detect whether a person is lying. Don't try to deceive it. So far, it has not made any mistakes. It involves the power of supernatural powers. Now, put your hand on it. There is a sunken fingerprint on the instrument, Jiang Yu put his hand on it. Li Fangya said with a serious expression. Jiang Yu, have you awakened the sequence exorcism mage? The divine power has exorcism power for blood. Yes. Jiang Yu, have you ever committed a serious crime or had any thoughts of planning and implementing it? No. Jiang Yu. Do you have any antisocial tendencies? No. After asking the question, a green light emitted from the fingerprint, and Li Fangya smiled and said, All right, it's not that I can't trust you. Everyone should ask these three questions when they join the company, it's just a matter of routine. Then, the two of them returned to the first floor office. In the office building, there are three investigation departments, and the number of people in each department varies depending on the establishment time. Jiang Yu joined the third department, which has the lowest number of people. With Jiang Yu added, there were only six people. In addition to Li Fangya and Section Chief Wei Jian, there are also two men and one woman. Chen Shi, who is 185 meters tall, has an ordinary appearance and thick glasses. He has a rather dull personality. When Jiang Yu came in, he just stood up and nodded at him, like a utility pole. He was tall and thin, and then he was busy with something on the computer. Another girl is called Fang Lan, who is 165 meters tall and cute. She is not inferior in appearance to Li Fangya. Although she does not have Li Fangya's captivating long legs, she has strong chest capital. Even wearing loose sportswear, it is difficult to conceal her proud figure. Fang Lan became much more enthusiastic and actively tidied up a table for Jiang Yu. Great, with the addition of new members, we'll give you the difficult task of helping our department get rid of the bottom. Ah. I'm just a newcomer and there's still a lot I don't understand. Besides, our department's strength is at the bottom. Don't listen to her talk nonsense. Li Fangya gave Fang Lan a blank look. Fang Lan realized that she had accidentally told the truth and awkwardly covered her mouth. Xiao Lan is also right. 
Wei Jian walked into the office and said, Our third investigation department was established the latest with fewer personnel, but because of this, our resources can be more abundant. This is our advantage, we can concentrate resources to cultivate you into elites. Xiao Jiang. I have reviewed your profile and it has great potential. When faced with a zombie puppet for the first time, you were able to kill it alone. I was scared to death back then. Ha ha ha, work hard and strive to be promoted to the 8th rank by the end of the year. A familiar flavor of pancakes arose, and unexpectedly, even as a civil servant, one could not escape the fate of being painted with pancakes. Jiang Yu nodded obediently and then asked in confusion, Huh? Isn't there another colleague? Where is he? Speaking of which, a burst of hearty laughter came from outside the door, and a man with a blue nose and swollen face walked in. Oh, it's the old man hanging the flagpole. I came late for something, where is the newcomer? His eyes were already swollen and he scanned around before seeing Jiang Yu. He ran forward with joy and patted Jiang Yu's shoulder with force. It was the corpse you killed, wasn't it? Not bad, I was downstairs at the time. Ha ha ha, there is a future. Eh. Young man, why does your body look a bit weak? You are still young, so there are some things that need to be restrained. Jiang Yu smiled and said, I saw you on the flagpole when I entered before. Have you finished your work? The man's smile froze as he awkwardly scratched his head, sigh. I was practicing martial arts. My martial arts are quite unique, so. Wei Jian snorted coldly and said, Lu Yuan, should I let you practice martial arts again? Lu Yuan flattered and said, No, isn't it necessary to have a meeting? Let's have a meeting first, let's have a meeting first. Wei Jian then said, All right, everyone is here for the meeting. Let me briefly say a few words. First, let's welcome Comrade Jiang Yu to join our team, everyone. After a burst of scattered applause, Wei Jian continued, As we all know, our world has undergone some kind of transformation, and strange things have emerged from all over the country, seriously undermining social stability and harmony. Our mission is to clean up these strange things, maintain urban stability, and protect people's lives. Wei Jian's two simple sentences were not as long as usual. Jiang Yu listened in a daze, feeling bored. When he looked at his colleagues next to him, he found that Li Fangya and Jiang Lan were secretly using their phones under the table. Lu Yuan's eyes were swollen into a slit, and he didn't know if they were open or closed, until he let out a faint snore. Oh, he fell asleep. Chen Shi sat the most upright, but his eyes were dull and he should be in a daze. Finally. Wei Jian emphasized his tone, and everyone immediately regained their senses and sat down. I would like to announce the sequences and supernatural powers in our department, so that everyone can understand each other better and cooperate better in battles. Chen Shi. Sequence 9, Defender, Divine Ability, Alertness. Increased sensitivity to danger in the environment. Alert. When in a state of alert, defense increases. Jiang Lan. Sequence 9, Musician, Divine Power, Guidance. Increase language persuasiveness. Encouragement. Encouraging others can boost morale and courage. Li Fangyao. Sequence 9, Qi Practitioner, Divine Skill, Breathing. Swallowing breath, nourishing the body. Control air. Control the airflow. Upon hearing this, Jiang Yu asked in confusion, they are also sequence 9, why do they all have one more divine power than me? Wei Jian said, when the sequence progress reaches 50%, the second divine power will be awakened, and you will also have it in the future. Okay, I will continue. Lu Yuan, sequence 8, Shadow Walk, Divine Power, Night Tour. Strength increased by 30% in the dark, hidden. Significantly weakened presence in the shadows, night curtain. Short-term deprivation of target vision. Jiang Yu was secretly startled in his heart, I didn't expect this lazy guy to be the only one among the clerks with a sequence 8. 
these supernatural powers are naturally a killer. After Wei Jian revealed the sequence information of Jiang Yu, it caught the attention of others. Lu Yuan happily said, Little brother, your sequence is good. If we encounter ghosts and other things later, we won't be helpless. Chen Shi asked, Does dried blood also have an effect? I haven't tried it. Then give it a try, Yu Yu reading www.yukangshu.net. If possible, the economic value is enormous. Let's do it now. I'll help you. Lu Yuan was inexplicably excited. He lifted his hand, but before Jiang Yu could react, a small wound had already been cut on his forearm by his nails, and a few drops of blood had flowed out. Jiang Yu was surprised, so skilled. Lu Yuan wiped it with his finger. Wei Jian took out a black wooden box and said, this box used to contain strange props. Over time, it has been contaminated with breath. After the bloodstains dried up, Lu Yuan and others pressed their hands on it, but there was no response. Failed. You need fresh blood to do it. Lu Yuan was somewhat disappointed. No, look. At the black box that Lu Yuan had touched, the color slowly faded, becoming slightly lighter than the surrounding area. It should be because my ability is too weak. Maybe I can upgrade to a higher level in the future. Although the test results were a bit disappointing, Lu Yuan was still very happy and said to Jiang Yudao, See, hurry up and get promoted. When your dried blood can also ward off evil in the future, just draw some blood and sell it to those wealthy people on yellow paper. TSK TSK, you're just a humanoid money printing machine. Jiang Yu thought to himself, it's really a good way to make money. At the end of the meeting, everyone left one after another. Li Fangya and Jiang Yu went to the equipment department to collect a mobile phone and a pass, which had high confidentiality and could connect to the internal network. After finishing the task, Li Fangya took Jiang Yu on the bus. Hmm. You don't need to go back to work anymore. We don't have to work shifts, and when there are no tasks, we can arrange our time freely. I worked overtime today for you. Jiang Yu is speechless. Indeed, it's good to have fewer expenses and more benefits. You've come to the right place. Chapter 10 The Grey Realm Reaches Again You are listening at NovelFull.audio Li Fangya escorted Jiang Yu to the gate and drove away. Jiang Yu glanced at the time and only took a taxi to the gym at 10 o'clock in the morning. Master Ji, I'm late for work today. Ji Xing didn't care either. There's no one in the city who doesn't work, and where does it come from to pay tuition fees? With a gentle nod, he began today's teaching. First, let Jiang Yu perform the eight extremes fist once. It was evident that Jiang Yu had put in some effort before returning. Ji Sheng was satisfied and held a bamboo stick in his hand, constantly exerting force on Jiang Yu in the wrong direction. The area where the bamboo stick passed through felt a pang of pain. I can only remember it when it hurts. Additionally, I use the stab technique in swordsmanship, so feel my strength. After completing the Jiang Yu fist practice, Ji Sheng began teaching the techniques and moves of the Eight Extremes fist. The movements of the eight extremes fist are centered around the six great openings and eight great moves, accompanied by the eight extreme small frame. The eight extremes are used to polish the strength of the martial arts. Today's lesson is about the eight extreme small frame and the hard skill eight extremes. Ji Sheng asked Jiang Yu to carefully understand the power transmission on his body, and feel the moment when his whole body's strength is condensed into a single force, and he fights at the fist peak. Practicing until the evening, Jiang Yu returned home. As he promised the landlord to move out, Jiang Yu packed his luggage and had nothing to pack, just a suitcase of clothes, a computer bag, and a sword of evil. He was packing his luggage from the room and moving towards the living room when suddenly the electric light on his head began to flicker, and the room was dimly lit. When the electric light turned black and lit up again, it suddenly turned red. The sofa in front of me also became dilapidated, covered in a thick layer of grey. 
Jiang Yu turned back to look at the bedroom, and sure enough, the bedroom was also covered in spider webs, covered in black mold. Grey world, descend. Jiang Yu threw his backpack on the floor and said, finally in. He quickly rolled up his sleeves, and the blood red countdown reappeared. Three, ha. Huh. Is this three hours or three minutes? Two, my grass, is this three seconds? One, the moment when the countdown returns to zero. Dong. 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 The knocking on the door came from outside. There it is. Jiang Yu didn't expect the monster to come so quickly this time, and he dared not make a sound in the room. Unexpectedly, the monster outside seemed to know that someone was inside, continuously knocking on the door. The sound became increasingly urgent, and in the end, it even began to smash the door. Jiang Yu, seeing that he couldn't get by, hurriedly went to zip up his backpack and retrieve the Xingxia sword that was inside. However, the quality of the zipper was not up to par, and it was stuck at this moment. The things outside the door have started to knock against the door. Bang! 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 The tremendous force deformed the iron gate. The iron doors of the rental house are all made of fake and inferior products, just a layer of iron sheet wrapped in sawdust. How can they withstand such a violent impact? Finally, the door could no longer bear it, with a loud bang, it shattered into pieces, and the sky was filled with sawdust and dust that had been shaken up and scattered in the air. Grass. Evil merchants harm me. Jiang Yu felt extremely anxious and used brute force to tear open the zipper, just pulling out his sword. I saw a warrior who was 1.9 meters tall, wearing heavy armor, and wielding a ring-headed sword break through the door. The armor was already in tattered condition, with knife marks covering the area. Under the black helmet, there was a shadow. A pair of blood-red eyes shone out from it. The warrior saw Jiang Yu and rushed towards him. The blade in his hand made a buzzing sound of breaking through the air, and a bloody and brutal aura came towards him. Jiang Yu's brain is spinning rapidly, and in recent days, fighting knowledge has shown effectiveness. Escape. No. The distance between the rooms is too short, and the starting speed is also slow. As long as you turn around, you will be rushed to the front of you by the samurai in an instant, and you will be beheaded with a sword. At this point, only by facing the enemy head dot on can we survive. Jiang Yu made a judgment, wielding his sword with both hands and putting it horizontally on the shelf. Dang! The swords clashed and made a loud noise. Jiang Yu's hands were shattered by the shock, and his arms were sore and numb. He ignored the discomfort on his body and quickly wiped the Xingxia sword with his left hand. He lifted the sword and thrust it towards the warrior's throat. The sword was only halfway pierced, and the warrior lifted his foot. A huge black military boot kicked Jiang Yu hard in the chest, and Jiang Yu flew out with a bang, smashing the bedroom desk. The warrior flashed into the bedroom and stepped on Jiang Yu's head. Jiang Yu suddenly felt a gust of evil wind on his face, quickly rolling to the right and stabbing with his sword. The wooden floor next to my ear suddenly exploded, and the victory sword was blocked by the warrior's armor, making a muffled sound, leaving only a white spot on it. The thing that worries Jiang Yu the most is still happening. Blood cannot directly come into contact with monsters. The ringhead sword fell again, and Jiang Yu drew his sword in front of him to block it, dang. At this moment, Jiang Yu held his sword with one hand and couldn't stop the warrior's strength. The sword hit his chest heavily, exactly where the warrior had kicked him before, and a mouthful of blood spurted out. Most of the blood sprayed onto the armor, Unable to exert its exorcism effect, only a few scattered drops of blood flew into the helmet, emitting a few wisps of green smoke. But that was enough. The samurai let out a muffled groan, covered his face with both hands, and when his exorcism power was exhausted, he looked into the room and saw that Jiang Yu was nowhere to be found. The samurai searched around but couldn't find it. He walked to the window, which opened. The cold wind poured into the room, causing the curtains to flutter. 
Outside was a silent city filled with gray mist. Jiang Yu hung his arm under the outer box of the air conditioner, and the residual blood in his mouth flowed down his arm to the tip of his sword, dripping downwards. He looked at the towering sky beneath his feet. The rental house is on the seventh floor, and the street lights downstairs have been lit, casting dim yellow lights on the empty asphalt road. He focused his attention on the movement above his head, and there was a dead silence above. Yu Yu reading www.yuyukeungshu.net did not hear any sound. It wasn't until his palm, which had turned white and could no longer hold on to the iron rod of the outer box, that he slightly leaned out and looked up. At first glance, there are a pair of blood-red eyes, followed by an iron fist that hits downwards. The outer box of the air conditioner was smashed with a fist, and Jiang Yu let out a scream and fell down. My body hit the outer box on the sixth floor, and I was about to fall again. The Xingxia sword in my hand plunged into the chassis with all its strength, stabilized my body, and climbed up. This is the balcony on the sixth floor. Jiang Yu punched the glass and jumped in. As soon as I entered the bedroom, I heard a heavy object falling from behind. Looking back, the warrior also jumped down and smashed the outer box. An iron blue hand climbed onto the windowsill and climbed up. Grass. What grudges? Chasing so hard. He ran quickly towards the door, and the sound behind him grew closer and closer. When he opened the door, the warrior was about to rush behind him, and Jiang Yu fiercely closed the door. Bang! The iron gate shook violently, but fortunately, the anti-theft door downstairs was made of real materials and successfully blocked the impact of the warrior. This quality is indeed much better than mine. Jiang Yu leaned against the door, panting heavily, his mouth filled with the rusty smell of blood, and the iron door behind him kept ringing. He didn't dare to stop either, he ran down the stairs. The stairwell was in darkness, and Jiang Yu walked hastily. The voice behind me gradually faded away and disappeared into the darkness. The stairs ran layer by layer, and when the left forearm was smashing the glass, a piece of glass pierced in and blood flowed out, hitting the ground with a ticking sound. I don't know how long I've been running, but Jiang Yu suddenly stopped and frowned. There is no underground parking lot in the community. I have already run down six floors, why haven't I left yet?